You're now listening to The Shipper's Toolbox, presented by Refund Retriever. Hey guys, Brian from Refund Retriever here again. So today we're going to talk about like the five best practices you use when you're shipping with UPS. So e-commerce sales are expected to grow to $6.5 trillion by 2020. So it's no surprise that shipping's big business. So from preparing like the perfect packaging to holding your inventory, make sure your logo stands out along the way, there's a lot of details to consider when it comes to delivering inventory purchase via e-commerce. Uh, among these in responsibilities include understanding the bre- best practices to ship with UPS. You know, UPS is the largest global carrier service in the world. So tip number one, pay a attention to the details of your package. Options for shipping a package will vary based on a bunch of different factors. This includes the location of the delivery, the weight of the package, even the detail of what it ships in. So, you know, among these factors include the actual package details. UPS suggests a few preferred standards when it comes to preparing packages delivered in a box versus a pallet. So, um, number one, use a rigid box with flaps that are intact. Remove any previous labels and put hazardous material indicators or other, like you know, shipment markings. Make sure that nothing on there is that's no longer applicable is on that box. Inside, wrap everything separately and use adequate cushioning material. Um, use a strong tape that's actually designed for shipping. Don't wrap a bunch of duct tape around it. Do not use string or paper overwrap, which that's not done much anymore. But I've seen a few clients that actually still kind of do that, but don't do it. Also, use a single address label that's clear as complete delivery information and return information. Like, use one of the preferred uh, UPS vendors or use UPS World Ship. It'll print you out a nice little label that that's what you need to put on there. Also, place a duplicate address label inside. Um, that might help if something happens to the package. Uh, the next tip. So, you know, you can make edits to shipments even once they're in route. You know, retailers know that most customers can be, you know, they're, they're demanding. So, a lot, often, a lot of times there's last minute requests for a delivery time or change of location. So, UPS offers e-com solutions that offer these flexible shipping options, shipping costs, and tracking visibility. In addition uh, to uh, the ability to make changes to the packages that are already in route, um, you know, there's also ability to make convenient deliveries despite their customer interferences. So there's times that you can ship. There's different uh, services that you can have to make sure that package gets there. Tip number three, you need to welcome analytics in your shipping management. If you've heard any of my other podcasts before, data, data, data. So they might be the number one carrier in the world, but that title alone doesn't mean that they do not make mistakes unintentional late deliveries, weather-related damages to packages. You know, there's a couple reasons or examples why it's critical to manage when your packages arrive to your customers and make sure that it's done with accuracy. So automated technology, you can get full transparency across all these touch points and make sure uh, that their shipping is there on time thanks to like parcel auditing. So you can spot overcharges, unintentional mistakes made by UPS, and you can also get proof of delivery and more. Uh, we had a client recently that they had a customer that came back about seven months after package delivery claiming they never got delivery. If you've ever tried to track a package with UPS that's over four months old, you'll know the pain that these guys saw. But since they had auditing in place and we had all their data, I was able to send them screenshots and actual dates and times of when those packages were delivered. That saved them a ton of money. So just because they had that in there, they saved a lot of money because they had us in place. So the parcel auditing, it's going to give you, you know, these online sellers like you guys, Trust that your packages are being monitored and that your investment in shipping is not overlooked. You know, also we the parcel auditing is going to give you credits. You know, it's going to give you dollars back. So we look for the late deliveries and other billing mistakes. If any of your ground or express packages are delivered after the guaranteed delivery date, then you're supposed to get that for free. We make sure those credits are put back onto your account. 
Uh, tip number four, integrate all selling and shipping channels with UPS, you know. Um, create omni-channel business means integrating all these other touch points in which your inventory is connected to customers. Uh, eBay, Amazon, your own site, all these other different selling platforms, you know, you need to connect those. And this shouldn't end at shipping with UPS. So there's advanced business management solutions for large and small businesses alike that you don't have to separate your shipping management at each point to make a sale. So as a result, you know, it's going to give you more clarity in your shipping spend, spend management, and over, overall shipping strategy. Tip number five is one of my favorites, of course. It's review your shipping contracts. Regularly review shipping carrier contracts from any carrier worker, not just UPS. This needs to be on your to-do list. It's particularly important when you factor in the reality that these carriers are going to announce uh, shipping rates pretty soon. It's the end of the year for us here. So, you know, last year UPS raised ground and air by 4.9%. So you need to know that, hey, everybody's shipping's going to go up 4.9% across the board. That's an average. Some of them go up a little bit more on, based on what you're doing. But if you heard my other one, UPS also has a new uh, UPS simple rate option, which is really cool that I think a lot of people need to listen to. A lot of people need to really explore because, you know, yearly price increases, you know, they, they can be mitigated to help combat these, you know, increased shipping dollars. So, you need to look at your carrier contracts um, every single year and, and make sure that what you're shipping out has the most discounts. Make sure you're not getting a bunch of discounts on something that you're not even using. I've seen a lot of customers where, you know, a lot of these people, all their shipping out's ground, but they have these huge discounts on international shipping. They have these huge express discounts that they never use. So you need to negotiate where you're shipping and what you're shipping out. Also, know your accessorial fees. How much is, is uh, at residential surcharge costing you? Extended area surcharge, fuel surcharge. How much does this cost you? You need to know what percentage of your shipping costs are accessorial fees versus the cost of just the FedEx ground transit. You know, in conclusion, Shipping is a powerful tool that really can differentiate your e-commerce business from your competitors. You can make shipping a core competency and make it something that people come to you because your shipping is maybe less expensive, maybe it's faster, maybe it's more easy to understand. So, you know, these five best practices when it comes to shipping with UPS are also going to help you meet customer expectations. Customers are more demanding, more now than ever, especially from the Amazonification of what you think your package should should be on a screen and how fast it should get there. People want that stuff there quick. So if you know the details behind that, behind the scenes, it can make this possible, including who you ship with, the details of your shipment, and packaging it correctly. If you guys need any other help with shipping FedEx or UPS contact us at refund retriever or read our blog you know we have a ton of content on our blog everything from this new UPS uh, simple uh, flat rate option to FedEx one rate you know you want to put them side by side take a look at it I think the UPS simple rates really gonna uh, take a bite out of FedEx one rate and USPS priority mail flat rate I think this. I think it's a, a legit offering that's going to be really good. So contact us at Refund Retriever, www.refundretriever.com, or give me a call. Again, I am Brian with Refund Retriever. I'm the owner. So I started Refund Retriever back in 2006. I was a uh, large volume FedEx and UPS shipper. I started this eBay store here in Houston where we would sell stuff on eBay for other people and. I started doing a lot of shipping and, you know, decided to take a look at my invoices. And I, you know, the, I heard a lot of rumbling about this is possible. So, you know, basically I started looking at my own invoices and, and finding late deliveries and finding billing mistakes. And we got some programmers and we've been going ever since. Um, you know, it's 2019 now. It's about to be 2020. But, you know, we have a ton of clients. We have helped a lot of people really understand UPS and FedEx and ship smart. There's a lot of people that grow faster than 
um, than they know what to do with and they just want product out the door because they're in the business of selling product X and product Y, not in the business of shipping. Let us help you be in the business of shipping in addition to being the, in the business of selling those products. We can help. So give us a call. Again, I'm Brian Gibbs, 800-441-8085 or refundretriever.com. Check us out. All right. Thanks a lot, you guys. You have a great day and uh, hope to hear from you. Bye. Thank you for joining us on the Shipper's Toolbox. If you have any questions, visit our website, refundretriever.com. Feel free to reach out to us, 800-441-8085 for anything related to your FedEx or UPS invoices. Have a great day.